Hello friends, welcome back to Daily Movie Recaps. A new movie recapped, every single day. Today, we will recap an American Southern Gothic black comedy crime film, Killer Joe, released in 2011. Spoilers up ahead, so watch out. Enjoy the recap. The film opens with Chris Smith arriving at his father's house on a late rainy night. He pounds on the door for a very long time. Then, Sharla, his stepmom, opens the door. Chris is there to see his father, Ansel. Before Ansel comes to the living room, Sharla and Chris argue, and there is a small physical confrontation. Chris takes up some herbs from his father's stock, and asks him to go out, saying he needs to talk to him in private. Dottie, Chris's younger sister, listens to all the talks happening, from her bedroom. Later, Chris and Ansel leave the trailer, and go to the dance club. On the way, Chris tells Ansel that he owes money to some people, who will end his life if he doesn't pay. But Ansel has no money to help him. At the club, Chris suggests an idea, to make some money. He informs Ansel about the $50,000 life insurance policy his mother, Adele has. In order to get the money, Adele has to die, and none of them is ready to do that. Understanding that, Chris also tells Ansel about a police detective, named Joe Cooper, who moonlights as a hitman. In the event of Adele's death, all the money would go to Dottie. So once it happens, they could share between themselves. Ansel is interested in the money, but to commit such a crime, he needs some convincing, so the two get to talking about Adele, and how badly she treats everyone around her, including her new boyfriend, Rex. Ansel agrees, and they decide to go forward with the plan. After requesting a meeting, Joe Cooper arrives at the trailer one morning to meet Chris. Chris was not there at the house, but Joe meets Dottie, and the two make small talk. Joe tells a story about a man who lit his genitals on fire to teach his girlfriend a lesson about cheating on him. Dottie tells a story about how her mom, Adele, tried to kill her once when she was a baby. While talking, the phone rings and it is Chris asking for Joe. Chris tells Joe to meet him at an abandoned building. Joe doesn't feel good about Chris changing the location at the last moment. Hence, he warns Chris not to change plans on him again. Joe, with the assistance of Dottie, reaches the building where Chris and Ansel are. Inside this building, Joe instructs Chris and Ansel on his rules, for if he was to kill Adele for them. Joe then tells his price, which is $25,000 in advance, if he has to take up the job. Chris says, he can't give Joe the money prior to the murder, but promises to give him a cut of the life insurance. Joe doesn't agree with that, but when he is about to leave, Joe notices Dottie outside, happily spinning around in front of a church. Joe then tells Chris that they never discuss the possibility of a retainer. After saying this, he leaves. Ansel doesn't understand, and Chris has to explain to him that Joe wants Dottie as a guarantee, until he gets paid. Meanwhile, at a rundown pizza parlor, where Charlotte works, she is talking on the phone with an unknown man. She holds in her hand a naked picture of this man, and jokes that his face can't be seen in them. Dottie appears behind her, and asks for some money for dinner. Charlotte pretends the person on the phone was one of her old friends. She hangs up, and goes to sit with Dottie. Charla informs Dottie that there will be a guest for dinner that night. Dottie knows it's Joe. Ansel arrives, and he tells Dottie he is going to give her some money, so she can buy something nice to wear. Then, Ansel and Charla talk privately, or Charla yells at Ansel for not telling Dottie that she will be alone with Joe at the trailer. That night, when Dottie finds out about the situation, she acts very strange, and locks herself in her room. Joe arrives, and doesn't get angry. He tells her that she doesn't have to come out of her room, if she doesn't want to. After Joe tells another story, Dottie comes out of her room, and the two have dinner. Dottie says that she had a dress she was going to wear, but she decided not to wear it. Joe said he would have loved to see it. At a certain point in the evening, Joe asked Dottie to put on the dress in front of him. Soon after that, the two get intimate. Chris, from outside, sees the lights and the trailer go out. In another part of town, the same night, a yellow sports car is parked at a cheap motel. A man in a cowboy hat knocks on the door to one of the rooms. Charla opens the door, and lets the man in. The following day, Chris is betting on some horses for money, but he loses the money. As he walks outside, two big men stand in front of him. He starts to run away, but he doesn't get very far, and the two big men, on motorcycles, run him down. A big truck pulls up, and Digger Soames gets out, the man to whom Chris owes money. Digger tells Chris that he better pay him soon, and leaves after telling the two big men to pulp him up, which they do after he leaves. The next day, Chris meets Joe and tells him he doesn't want Joe around Dottie anymore. Joe says all Chris has to do is say the word, and he will stop everything he is doing for them. Chris still wants his mom not to live, and most importantly, he wants the money. 
so he is not ready to stop the plan. But later that night, Chris makes up his mind and decides to drop the plan. The same night, at the police station, Killer Joe gets ready. He grabs his gun, his gloves, his hat, and walks outside. Chris is waiting for him and tells him he has second thoughts about going through with the act. Joe tells Chris to get in his car. The two drive along the way to a closed restaurant. Joe goes to the trunk of his car and opens it. Chris looks inside and finds Adele's body lying there. Joe has already finished his contract. Chris then helps Joe dispose of the body in a way that makes it look like an accident. After some days, Ansel and Charlotte go to collect the insurance money, while Dottie and Chris wait in the restaurant. When Charlotte returns to the restaurant, she and Ansel are extremely mad. The family walks down the street, where Ansel pushes Chris up against the wall, and tells him that Dottie is not the beneficiary of the insurance money. It is Rex, Adele's boyfriend, who is the actual beneficiary. It is here where it is revealed that Rex is not only the one that told Chris about the life insurance, but is also the one who told Chris about Killer Joe. Chris, having nothing to pay either Digger or Killer Joe, decides to flee the country. He wants Dottie to go with him to Peru, but she says she wants to see Joe first. The yellow sports car drives down the street, and it is pulled over by Killer Joe's police car. The driver of the sports car gets out. Here, it is revealed that the man in the cowboy hat is Rex. That night, Sharla and Ansel return to the trailer with some KFC. Joe is there with them, and they ask him to have a chicken leg. Joe approaches Sharla and asks her about Rex, to which she says she doesn't really know him. Joe asks Ansel whether she was going to get a cut of the money. Ansel says since she is his wife, he had the plan of giving her the money. Through some smart interrogation and trickery, Joe gets Sharla to reveal that life insurance was actually worth $100,000. Because Adele's death was ruled an accident, the life insurance doubles. Sharla was the only one who knew that out of the family. Joe then shows Ansel two things, a check made out to Rex for 100 grand, and the naked pictures of Rex that Sharla had on her person. Realizing Sharla cheated on him, Joe punches Sharla, breaking her nose. Then, he takes the chicken leg from KFC, and lowers it in front of his waist. He forces Sharla to suck on the leg like it is his member. As this happens, Joe informs everyone that since he will not be paid in cash, the retainer, Dottie, belongs to him now. In the end, Chris returns to the trailer, while Dottie, Ansel, Sharla, and Joe all wait for him at the dinner table. Chris sits down, and everyone eats together for a short while. Then, Joe stands, and announces that Dottie has agreed to marry him. Chris is irritated hearing that, and tells Joe he can't let him have Dottie. Chris tells Dottie to go get her stuff, so that he can take her somewhere safe. But Joe stops her, and tells Dottie to stay seated. Chris pulls out a gun, and points it at Joe. Charlotte grabs a knife from the table, and stabs Chris in the shoulder. Joe tackles Chris, and the gun slides in front of Dottie. Joe then holds Chris in front of the refrigerator, and bashes his face in with a can of pumpkin filling, and Ansel grabs Chris's legs, so he can't run away. Charlotte bashes a beer bottle at Chris's head. While everyone is busy handling Chris, Dottie picks up the gun, and shoots it all over hell. Joe, Ansel, and Charlotte all become shocked seeing that. Dottie fires first at Chris, shooting him in the chest, and killing him. Then, Dottie shoots Ansel in the stomach, he screams in pain as he goes to his knees. Dottie then aims at Joe. Joe asks Dottie to put the gun down, and tries to calm her. After informing everyone that she is having a baby, Dottie puts her finger again on the trigger. Understanding his end, Joe smiles in excitement. Please leave a like, or comment, to let us know, which movie you would like to watch next. And don't forget to subscribe, and turn on your notifications. This way you'll never miss any movie recap again. Thanks for watching, and stay safe.